As a lot of you know, Rockstar Games has a tendency to reuse voice actors from their previous games in newer games. Bully and Manhunt 1 and 2 are no exceptions. Recently, I began doing a weekly livestreamed Let's Play series of Manhunt, and by the way, you can find a link to the first episode in the video info down below. What are they doing? <laughs> what? What's up with the AI? What are you guys doing? Now before doing the first episode, I decided to look into the voice actors of Manhunt 1 and 2 to see if I could find any big names, and, well, to my surprise, quite a few bully voice actors provided voice acting in both Manhunt 1 and 2. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you 4 bully voice actors who made appearances in the first Manhunt game. I will make a sequel to this video showcasing the other voice actors in the second game, but for now let's focus on the first 4. Keep in mind that these voice actors all made appearances in Manhunt 1 years before they voice acted characters and Bully, so it is technically the other way around. It goes without saying that both of these games are hugely different in tone and the characters these voice actors portrayed are definitely no exception. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Number 1. Adam Syetz Adam Syetz is a writer and actor most known for voice acting Breadwinner in Bioshock 1 and Dora's Dog in Dora the Explorer. I ain't afraid of failure, cause I ain't gonna fail. Came down here with a dream. That dream's gonna happen. Come on, just let me explain, will ya? <sighs> it's just a bad quarter. No, that's all. Yeah, market will come back, huh? Yeah, everything will be fine. Yeah, it'll all be fine. <sighs> He's described by IMDB as a quote-unquote master level whistler. Now, I don't know a whole lot about whistling, so uh, you be the judge, I guess. Not bad. Among the many different roles Adam Syetz has portrayed, he voice acted a mentally challenged member of the Innocence Gang in Manhunt 1. The Innocents, according to the Manhunt Wiki, that'd be Wikihunt, are a gang of hunters consisting of Latino thugs, Satanists, and retards. Innocent! Ears making noises without any people again. I'm not sure you should be doing that, mister. This is a silly game. We should all be playing something else. No one to play with. He's mine. Mine, 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 mine! Now, despite putting on a very silly voice, the character Adam portrays is far beyond non threatening. He's an overweight serial killer with a baby face face mask, often mistaking deadly violence for childish antics. Now, in Bully, Adam portrays a less intimidating character, and by less, I mean way less. In Bully, Adam Syetz portrays a lispy, nerdy store clerk named Zach Owens. Zach, as most of you watching already know by now, is the owner of the Dragon's Wing comic book store. Hey, you little thief! Ah, my asthma! Sir, are you okay? I just got robbed by a dorky kid and I'm having an asthma attack! Of course I'm not okay! Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll give you five bucks and some comics if you help me get my stuff back from that punk! You got a deal! Adam also provided voice acting for five characters in GTA 5, three characters in GTA 4, and one ostensibly removed beta character in GTA San Andreas. Number 2. Dennis Ostermeyer. 
Dennis Ostermeyer is a producer and actor who has done quite a bit of voice acting for Rockstar. Dennis' first gig at Rockstar was in Manhunt 1, wherein he played the role of an abusive, corrupt Carcer City Police Department officer. Gonna have some fun with my baton. I haven't done any hobo breaking for a while. Get a hold of yourself, man! You don't have to do this! Hey, let's get some CCPD over here! Hey guys, the idea is that you're supposed to jump in and help before he kills me! I don't like this one bit. There's something going on, I swear. CCPD, stay where you are! Carson City Police, stop or I'll shoot! He would then go on to voice act two characters in Red Dead Revolver, a biker in GTA San Andreas, three characters in The Warriors, and eventually Tobias Mason in Bully. Tobias Mason being the friendly slacker type bike shop owner. Yeah, you want to get a C785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was gonna get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Number three, Lloyd Floyd. Lloyd Floyd is by far one of the most underrated Rockstar voice actors. If you're a fan of GTA, Bully, or Manhunt, then it is a guarantee that you've heard his voice by now. His very first Rockstar role, according to IMDB, was in Manhunt 1, wherein he played the role of a member of the Skins. Just me showing you a picture of the Skins should be enough to give you an idea of what type of gang they are. Insecure, intolerant, and batch insane. In Manhunt, he plays a tattooed up racist, loudmouth, southern daddy's boy. Pa said the hunt would be good for me. You know, make me into a man. Hey, you don't mind me yabbering on, right? You know, first time and all. I'm a little bit excited. Gonna whoop you like my pa used to whoop me! J just get off of me! You filthy savage! Skins! Hey guys! We got us a raccoon in the wood pile! Yeah, sorry! Guys, I, I see him! He's here! Guys! Lloyd would then go on to voice act three Red Dead Revolver characters, a pedestrian, and the radio DJ Hans Oberlander in GTA San Andreas, and two characters in The Warriors. You're on SFUR, listening to the house music with Hans Oberlander, taking you on an international trip. Would you like a pillow? What? My handy again! It is ringing! I am popular! Yes, can I help you? Ack! Son, what are you doing? This music is terrible. Play some Wagner. Oh, Dad, leave me alone. I'm busy. This is house music. You're so square. If you are going to be merciless, then play beautiful Wagnerian operas. Also, your mother found these pills, yeah, in your room. She takes them and is humping the neighbor's dog. Ach, Daddy, you're ruining my vibe and you're diminishing my supply. Eventually, he landed not just one, but two roles in Bully. The first character being this steroid-filled Yuri Karamazov. Move, nerd! Oh. <laughs> How original! <laughs> Call me a nerd! What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me! Alright, you oh. ass boy! What's this? <laughs> class... Paris... Den. Class president, dummy. It says class president. I know. I That's know. you? I'm the most suitable candidate I know. <laughs> yeah, so is your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Don't forget to wipe! <laughs> And the second role being Mr. O, one of the Yum Yum Market shopkeepers. You think this is funny? If you break it, you better buy a new one! Did you go to the wrong store? <laughs> Do not cause a disturbance! Welcome to Yum Yum Market. I told you it was a good price. That is most impressive. That joke is not funny! I will teach you a lesson! Lloyd Floyd is a voice actor I have a lot of respect for, considering the vast amount of different roles he has played over the years. I am hopeful and almost certain that he'll make more appearances in future Rockstar games. What makes me so sure about that, you might ask? Well, let me put it this way. Lloyd has voice acted at the very least 17 characters in GTA 5, GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony, GTA 4, The Lost and Damned, GTA 4, GTA Vice City Stories, and GTA San Andreas. 
And by the way, that's not even counting all of the other Rockstar characters he has voice acted. And number 4, Robert Stanton. Robert Lloyd Stanton is an American actor from San Antonio, Texas, best known for playing the main character's father in the film adaptation of Dennis the Menace. Throughout Robert Stanton's career, he has played a big variety of different characters in both movies and video games. And as far as video games go, he has only provided voice acting for Rockstar Games, no one else. In Manhunt, he played the role of a shoe-obsessed member of the Smileys, a gang consisting of escaped mental asylum inmates. Uh, I'm sorry I lost my shoes, Mommy. I'm sorry. Nurse, he's got my shoes! He's got my shoes! Nurse! Oh, God. Mr. Widget, he's got me! He's got me! Where's a good boy? Where's a good boy? Nurse! Nurse! It's the Widgety Man! Help! Help! It should not come as a surprise to any of you watching this video that based on his voice, he played Lionel Galloway in Bully. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods. Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. It is kind of interesting how both of the times Robert Stanton provided voice acting for Rockstar, his character ended up being a mentally unstable asylum patient. I don't know, just a funny little coincidence. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Putting the mission Galloway away aside, Robert Stanton actually reminds me a lot of Galloway, so much so that it would not surprise me if the character of Lionel Galloway was actually loosely based on Robert Stanton's real-life persona. He's well-spoken, dresses in a way I could see Galloway dress, and seems like a nice person. So basically the opposite of the smiley he portrayed in Manhunt. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed all of the voice acting I showed you in this video. I think it just goes to show how talented a lot of these voice actors really are. All of them played both sadistic killers in Manhunt 1 and friendly goofballs in Bully, and they all did a really good job at it. And by the way, I made sure to include the voice actors' respective IMDb pages in the video info down below, just in case you want to check them out for yourselves. Make sure to give this video a like if you found it to be interesting, because I am planning on making a sequel to this video. Hell, I might even make this into a video series if you guys like this. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more of this. Anyway, that's it for this video. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.